Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shades and today is going to be a similar shave to yesterday, just on a one day of growth, 24 hours. Got, I already got everything lathered up. And yeah, let's get it going. As for the software, going to be testing this out again. This is the Phoenix and Bow Unscented Shaving Soap. Um, yesterday, I added way too much water and this got really bubbly and I had to add some shaving cream to boost the lather. But for today, I've added enough soap without the excess of water. So it's looking pretty creamy so far. I got it lathered up using my Double Duck Heritage Collection Shaving Brush. This bore, gel bore, eats a lot of lather, but I've added plenty to account for that. So I think it's going to work well. If you see this kind of uh, the, the knot filled with lather, that's a pretty good sign, at least for me, that there is enough to work with. So yeah, I got that set up and let's whip, um, let me wet my face and get me going. All right, here we go. Plenty of lather in the brush, at least it seems like it. <clears throat> mm. As I said yesterday, this is a great painter brush. Could also splay it a bit like this, but it really excels at painting the lather. And it feels great on the face. <clears throat> Let's uh, leave it at that. Not the densest lather out there, but I think this bore brush plays a part of it. If I use a synthetic, I would have gotten a little more creamier result, I would say, but this isn't too bad. <clears throat> All right, as for the razor and blade, I'm gonna be going with the same blade as yesterday, but a different razor. I'm gonna be going back to my Game Changer 0.84. Razor paired with a Derby plat uh, Platinum, no, no, Derby Premium Razor, <laughs> Derby Premium Blade on its second use. Man, I'm out of it today. Um, I actually got my second COVID shot yesterday, and oh, this morning was rough. I was uh, having some fever, some chills, my body was not functioning correctly. But uh, yeah, I took some Tylenol, and I think I'm feeling better now, but still gotta give it a day. For my body to recover and just to fight off the <clears throat> um whatever the vaccine is um all right here we go let's go first pass with the grain starting from the left side <laughs> yeah, this has less blade feel than the Parker semi slant. So still very easy to work with. I do feel the blade, just not as much as the slant. Very easy to work with. <clears throat> And the Derby Premium Blade feels a lot more tame with this razor. Maybe it's because it's on the second use. It feels a bit smoother.
still doesn't feel as sharp as other blades like the Nest Set, but it feels pretty smooth today. All right, let me rinse up, go for a second pass. The lather is doing a pretty good job. Um, it feels pretty nourishing to the face. I will say, similar to like Sterling's lather. Alright, let's get on lathering. Plenty on the brush here for the second pass. that and I believe this soap the Phoenix and Bow unscented soap was produced around 2016 so it's it's been around five years since this came out um, they sent out a message to me on Instagram and was asking me how this performs, in my opinion, um, and I couldn't give give them a good answer because yesterday I mixed it with Gillette Pure, so I want to give it another shot today without mixing it, and it's doing a good job. It's easy to work with, lathered up nicely, feels good on the face. Yeah, just a solid. Shaving soap for me. Blade is gliding pretty easily. Yeah, not bad. I'm surprised how nice this blade feels. It's not sharp, it doesn't give that crisp feedback, but it's doing its job. Definitely feels milder than other blades, but yeah, not bad so far. All right, let me rinse up, go for a cleanup. Yeah, decent residual on this. I'd say it's comparable to Sterling. All right, here we go. Should be enough for two cleanup passes if I choose to do so. Very soft brush, easy painter. All right, so let's go against the grain here. It's not that bad. The blade is doing a good job today. I don't have a tons of growth, but still, it's mowing down the one day growth pretty well. All right, so let me go for one more cleanup pass and I think we should be good to go. It's pretty smooth so far. A little bit of hair left on the chin, but almost to BBS. Ooh, yeah, look at that.
nice peaks on the leather, painting it on. All right, let's go with that. Cross the grain on the neck. Very nice. Rinse off the neck here, a bit of skin stretching. Yeah, going against the grain doesn't feel as comfortable as other blades. It's doing its job, but I don't think I'm going to use this the third time. Um, I think two uses on the Derby Premium should be plenty. Uh, maybe a little more on the chin. All right, I think that should do it. Let me just clear up some of the corners. All right, and we should be good to go. Got plenty of leather trap there. Looks pretty good. Let me rinse up and see how it went. All right. Not feeling much irritation. Pretty good so far. See, that's a clean result. Uh, just rinse it with some cold water. Put that Allen to the test. There we go. Okay, not much on the mustache. Yeah, a little feedback on the chin, a little feedback on the neck. So I would say second use on the Derby Premium Blade, it worked out really well. Not much feedback anywhere. Just a little bit on the chin and the neck and yeah. It's a pretty comfortable BBS. Is about as good as it can get for me. Comfortable shave, no real feedback anywhere. I don't feel any hair. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. All right, excellent shave today with the Phoenix and Boat Unscented Soap. Um, worked out pretty well. I would say it's comparable to Sterling. Um, even though it was made five years ago, it's still performing nicely. It's quite a hard soap, so I had to scoop out um, like harder chunks, but it uh, still worked out well. Got it lathered up using my Double Duck Heritage Collection Shaving Brush. And this is a beauty made by Neil, the King Neil Breed, uh, over at Heritage Collection Shaving with this gel bore knot. As you can see, the lather is a bit dissipating in the middle, but this is after the entire shave, so I don't mind that. Definitely a lot harder to work with 
compared to synthetics, but the gel bore feels really soft on the face and it's pretty enjoyable to work with. Shade with the Razorac 0.84, Game Changer 0.84, paired with the Derby Premium Blade on its second use. That worked out really well. You know, this is my, this is my favorite razor of all times. Um, I, I am wanting a bit more blade feel than this one, but it still works out well. Um, yeah, it's efficient. I do feel the blade, not as much as maybe the semi-slant or like sterling razor, but this is a good one. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for the shave. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.